What's going on YouTube? JT is your born here and welcome back to another edition of my DC comic book reviews and in this video we're going to be concluding the Gotham Resistance storyline with Green Arrow number 32. This is the crossover that began in Teen Titans 12, Nightwing what was it 29 or Suicide Squad 26 and then Green Arrow 32. I have it in the description even I'm kind of forgetting at the time of this but uh yeah so this is the final part it was written by Benjamin Percy and uh here we go so obviously percy wrote the first part he's writing the finale because he was writing green arrow and teen titans which by the way his green arrow run is really really good i think it was better than his teen titans run uh, mostly because they had like a more of a long-term storyline and weren't constantly interrupted by uh various crossovers i really liked his green arrow run i thought the art was great i thought the storyline was great villains everything worked really well in that book but anyway so as we begin uh we saw at the very end of the last issue, Mr. Terrific showed up, and he proceeds to explain the various cards that they found throughout the, you know, Gotham. So the Batman laughs, obviously this kind of stuff we've already known, who's a twisted version of Batman that they know, uh, gave each of these villains uh, various cards. So like he gave them Mr. Freeze, Penguin, Poison Ivy, all these various characters to kind of give them all sorts of powers to reshape Gotham and go toe-to-toe -to -toe with it. And then as this is going on, uh, and this is all due to the nth metal, Dark Knight's metal, all that crazy stuff, time, magic, science, whatever you want to call it. So they're trying to get to the center of the maze. Nightwing's still having visions. He's hearing all sorts of music, and it's giving him visions of what's happening with the Titans. And the Teen Titans have been captured by, by uh, the Batman who laughs and his uh, goons, I should say, for Barbados and that. And they're kind of trapping them and all sorts of wreckage in that damien's really mad because uh these are his teammates green arrow even called him children at one point he's like they're not children they're my friends again i kind of miss this version of him where he was like wanted to actively help people he saw people as his friends doing the right thing boy it's it's amazing how far we've fallen with uh the current teen titans book so he's feeling guilty over what happened he's like i have to do what's right and then basically green arrow he kind of reluctantly is like all right let's work together with this green arrow kind of points out you know when batman asked him to take keep an eye on him he doesn't really know a thing about his son he's like i speak teenager no matter what they say all they want is the illusion of being in charge while having a support system to fall back on he wants to be like his dad but it's only now that he understands bats did more than build teams okay so here they go they basically like all right fine we're gonna work together we're gonna become the gotham resistance team and mr terrific joined them um it makes it more exciting although i liked when killer croc was there too so they go toe-to-toe -to -toe. they keep going on later on they're trying to make their way towards the center of the mountain they find these machines and they find the various heroes captured in them face off against various different villains again there's a lot on these pages there's kind of a funny moment where damien says oh i was trained by the league of assassins and i'm more capable of a bow and arrow than you green arrow yeah i i, I doubt it kid uh, i'm sure you're pretty good though but he prefers a more hands-on approach so they go toe-to-toe -to -toe, and again they end up in bane's kind of city and they go to combat against these various machines and bad guys kind of all these things and then you find all these different people captured uh killer crocs like just tell waller to end me uh barbados all the fear in that there's like these little like dark robins um i forget what they're called not not dark robin like little they call them those little crows they always go crow 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 uh they're flying all these war machine tanks again this feels like something straight out of mad max fury road or the mad max franchise with all these crazy devices metal is an insane thing it's just like all right let's go crazy hard heavy metal rock crazy shit that's what happens even raven was captured at one point um pretty much all the teen titans were captured and they're trying to find ways to stop them green arrow is trying to shoot arrows nothing seems to be working against these things uh damien tells him to fire like that kind of like the special arrow with the nth metal involved and then the dark robin basically grabs damien pushes him in the way and he gets stabbed right through the shoulder so everyone thinks it's over he starts to play on Damien's insecurities about how he kind of just wants to be his father to love him, which is true. Uh, he's always kind of hard on himself, and he's trying to get his father's approval because his father struggles with just giving unconditional love. That's why I think Dick Grayson is the better father figure for Damien than Bruce is because Dick Grayson will go the extra mile and just be like, it's okay, you're going to be loved no matter what, and re a lot more reassuring because Damien has a lot of insecurities. But basically, like, it seems like it's over, but Damien kind of pushes the arrow through himself and stabs the Dark Robin, which causes him basically to, <clears throat> like, get hurt, explode, whatever. And then all the various, like, Batman from the multiverse show up. Like, you know, there's 
the flat. If you read the Dark Knight Metal tie-ins, there's all these different versions of them. Like, there's Cyborg Batman, there's Green Arrow, Flash, Speedster. Uh, there's just so many various versions of Batman from the Dark Multiverse. And basically, Mr. Terrific is like, Robin, we need to go. Damien doesn't want to because his teammates are trapped here. Then Dr. Fate shows up. And he, Damien doesn't want to leave his teammates. And he's like, I, I can't. We have to go here. We have to do this. But Dr. Fate's like, no, if you stay, you will die. It's not your destiny. Come on. And then the heroes reluctantly are forced to retreat despite their teammates being trapped there. And this weighs heavily on them. And so they're really pissed off about what happened. He hands the arrow back to Green Arrow. And Nightwing's pissed off. They're all really mad. They all feel like they failed entirely. But Green Arrow is there to kind of reassure, look, we may have lost the battle, but we can still win this war. And based on what you did by kind of stabbing yourself through and like hitting that Dark Robin, we learned we know how to kill them now. So that's basically where the issue ends. And then it says the next see the effects of Gotham Resistance in battle number three. Now I went through and I skimmed through some of the other metal things and I couldn't really see like how the Teen Titans escaped from it, but we're just going to be led to believe that everything worked out. Uh, if I could, if anybody knows the issue where they kind of escaped their contraptions and that, let me know because I didn't really see it upon skimming through Dark Knight's Metal 3, 4, 5, 6, and then kind of the other crossovers. Again, there's a lot of metal tie-ins that are kind of just one-shots focused on the various, like, speedsters and um, just, just various versions of Batman, like an Aquaman Batman or a Green Lantern Batman or a Flash Batman, just... All these various versions are some of those spinoffs to focus on, but this one was just primarily just the Teen Titans. Like this, there's a lot, there's so many metal issues that it, you just kind of get lost in it. But anyways, so that was the finale to the Gotham Resistance thing. Overall, I did enjoy this crossover. I am kind of disappointed. There's not much of a climax to the storyline. It, it's like okay, it's it's an arc here. We basically did all that just to find out. Okay, this nth metal stuff can kind of kill them. All right, so that, that's pretty much where it all kind of ended up at. But we did get some really good interactions and bantering amongst the, t the team. Uh, I, I liked how they all played very well off each other. Uh, Nightwing was great. Green Arrow was great. Damien was great. Harley was great. Uh, Mr. Terrific. All the characters were done pretty well, and I thought it made for a really exciting dynamic. And the art style by, uh, was it Juan Ferreira, was really, really good. And I thought, like, it really helped... Like, it looked really stylized and really cool. Um, it, it's kind of like paintings and that come together. Again, I just really like the art style and the colors, and I just really like seeing this team play off each other. Yeah, the disappointing part of this storyline isn't, is it just kind of really left, there really isn't much of a finale to it, per se. We don't really see how they're able to, like, defeat the bad guy. But then again, it all ties into a larger Dark Knight's Metal storyline, so if you want to know kind of the conclusion of that, I recommend reading Dark Knight's Metal, which even then we're now on to Death Metal and the Batman and Laugh stuff's going on in the current comics, so it just kind of goes all over the place, but again, you kind of want to pick up after this to Dark Knight's Metal 3, and I'm not going to cover that because Dark Knight's Metal is just such a massive undertaking, and I don't know if I have it in me, but overall consensus, I did enjoy the Green Arrow issue here. I don't know what my personal favorite of the three was. Uh, I, I like the second, I don't know, I think they're all good, and I think it was a really fun crossover with some good dynamics and uh, good banter back and forth between the characters. I'm just kind of bummed that we're not getting stuff like this nowadays. I, I like to see more of these types of interactions, and I wonder where the fuck Green Arrow is, because I don't see him showing up in anything as of lately, unless I'm not reading something. Is he in the Justice League books? I kind of dropped those, but you don't really see Green Arrow too much, and that's kind of a disappointment. I feel like he should be involved a lot more and i like seeing them play off nightwing and damien and harley i think it's just a fun combination of characters that they could have done they could do more stuff with them as a team i think it makes things more exciting but uh what are your thoughts on green arrow issue 32 let me know in the comments section down below uh be sure to hit that bell for notifications like this video share it with friends uh be sure to come back next time as we will be talking about what is it teen titans issue number 13 which is the start of the return of kid flash story arc so that's a two-parter and then after that we will go into the super sons of tomorrow story arc which is like five issues so that'll be a bit of a massive undertaking and then we'll come back and then we'll come and we'll start talking about like the other Teen Titans storylines. I think there's like a one shot and then we get like a final three part story arc. And then, then it leads into no justice. And then we get the 
and then that's basically it for this current Teen Titans team, and we never see them again, and then we move into the Teen Titans special, which is the last thing I have to cover before the final issue, and then we are done, 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 done covering the Teen Titans books, and then I'll move on to something else. Actually, no, 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 we have the issue coming out November 17th, which is like not next week, but the week after, so we will be all caught up in time for the final issue. So that's all you need to worry about. But anyways, what are your thoughts on it? Let me know down below. And uh, yeah, that's all I got to say. As always, take care now. Bye-bye then. And I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.